I call the meeting to order, and we I welcome everyone to today's meeting, Tuesday, November 14th, 7 p.m. I would ask for us to stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. Thank you all for coming to tonight's meeting. And um, just some updates. We are without our town administrator and Mary. Um, it's an unfortunate uh, series of events. Mike has had a death in the family, and uh, we extend our condolences to him. Uh, Mary is on vacation this week, and we wish her the best as well, too. Um, so we can still conduct our meeting, and, but we're going to probably be uh, tabling a few items, but we do intend to conduct business. Um, we will do the appointments resignations. We'll also do the classification hearing exactly at 7.30. We'll vote to approve, and we'll discuss the contract uh, for engineering services at Smitty's Boggs, and we'll do the uh, request at Camp Kiwani. So with that and without further ado, why don't I go right into public announcements, all right? So we have the Hanson Public Library open house will be held on Saturday, November 18th, 2017 from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Featuring a visit from a minion uh, from 10 to 12, magic show and balloon sculpting from 12 to 1, and entertainment by Tom Boyer and John Wall from 10 to 2 p.m. Um, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Space is limited for the magic show to register. Go to the hansonlibrary.org and sign up under calendar of events or call 781-293-2151. All town offices will be closed on Thursday and Friday, November 23rd and 24th of the Thanksgiving holiday. The transfer station will be open regular hours on Friday, November 24th. Volunteers are needed on the following committees. The 200th Anniversary, Agricultural, Capital Improvement, Community Preservation Commission, Disabilities, Elder Affairs, Energy, Finance, Memorial Day, Patriot Observance, and Nathaniel Thomas Mill Committees. Applications for appointment and info on the committee is available on the town website at www hansen-ma.gov. We also have a meeting notice that I'm to read. This is for the Hanover Formal National Fireworks Site. It's an informational public meeting held November 15th. It'll be um, held at the Hanover High School Auditorium at 287 Cedar Street. This is again Wednesday, November 15th, and it is from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. It is an informational meeting to update the community on recent site investigation and cleanup activities at the former National Fireworks Site in Hanover. Officials from the towns of both Hanover and Hanson and the Massachusetts Department of Environmental Protection will attend as well as representative from the environmental consulting firm who is conducting the field work at that location. What's the date on that? That is November 15th, Wednesday, from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. tomorrow. Okay. Uh, next item we have is the Whitman Hansen Will. This is um, Whitman Hansen Will provides primary, secondary, and third opiate, opiate um, abuse and overdose prevention resources to the community, including education, awareness, and support. Please RSVP to Amanda Sandoval at A S at A Sandoval S A N D O V A L at hptc.org and uh, they also can be followed on Facebook at Whitman Hanson Will uh, at hashtag WH Willpower. That is going to be held on December 5th at 6 p.m. at the Hanson Public Library 132 McQuan Street, Hanson, Mass. Okay. The next item I wanted to talk about was the um, Oh, there's a, there was an Eagle Scout recognition that's going to be conducted. Excuse me, too. Yes, sir. That there. But did you do the Plymouth County Reuse Committee, the 15th? Oh, I didn't announce the meetings yet. I'm still doing public announcements. Don't oh, okay. Don't All worry. Right. Don't worry. Um, 
on the holiday festival. Um, we have the holiday festival will be held on December 9th from 5 to 7 p.m. Buttons are five dollars each. I have one here. I was lucky to get one from Beth. Um, they will be having fireworks, tree lighting, and the town hall will be open for its services for bathroom. Um, they are accepting the Henson Community Christmas application is uh, ex uh, has applications for those who wish to contribute and help out. So um, this can be picked up at the town hall um, among the other type of items that we have, uh, other applications that we have. Um, again, I would like to say that the button was actually designed. It's got a nice teddy bear on it, and it was designed by uh, Miss Tia Rockefort. I hope I pronounced that right. R O C C A F O R T E. But so the button is to help fund the holiday festival. The holiday festival. But on a separate note, you're saying that if somebody's in need, they can apply to the community Christmas, and that application is available at town hall. Okay. Um, if I wasn't yes. on that, yes, yes, that's correct. Yep. yep. Um, so that's correct. I apologize. I know that I think I jumbled them together, so that's right. Some of the stuff we don't have on our announcements. Yeah, I know you. I know you're living. Living. Yeah, you. You are living. Living. Okay. <laughs> we good? Um, recreation opening doesn't say that. It doesn't have it here. No, it doesn't say recreation commission. But the recreation commission has an opening. Yeah, we because uh, there was a resignation. Rachel. Uh, September nineteenth. Yep. That, yeah. That'll come up when I talk about that. When we talk about that, we'll accept that resignation. Okay, that's from a different com commission. That conservation, oh, this is, is conservation. the one we're yeah. accepting tonight. Yep. Has, she resigned September nineteenth, and it hasn't been announced. Okay. Um, you know, with the announcements. Okay. Um, yeah, I think um, along those lines, we probably just want when Mary is back and back in the swing of things, we might just want to have her freshen up and double check on uh, how many openings are left in each one of the committees. Because, for instance, we've got some appointments tonight. We've got that one. We'll yeah. have a conservation commission resignation tonight. So probably just freshen up the, you know, the yeah. overall. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, and I know that, but I don't know if um, what we should check is with Anne Marie. Check with the recreation commission. Make sure that they forwarded that. That information to Mary to be announced too. Okay. Okay. All righty. Um, how much time we got left? We're doing really well, aren't we? Okay. So why don't we move to the? Again, we're going to have a hard stop at 7:30. So we have. Um, we're moving on to upcoming meetings. The upcoming meetings of the final Plymouth County Hospital Reuse Committee will be held Wednesday, November 15th. No, it'd be the 29th. 21. 29th. 29th, Tony? Yes. So there was an error here on yes. the agenda. Should be Wednesday, November 29th. That is a Wednesday, right? Yes, it is. Okay. At 4 p.m.? Yes, it is. And then we have the Open Space Commission will be hold, held a meeting at 6 p.m. Monday, November 20th. The Selectman's meeting will be held Tuesday, November 28th at 7 p.m. And another other Selectman meetings at Tuesday, December 12th at 7 p.m and Tuesday, December 19th at 7 p.m. We also have the 200th anniversary meeting to be held Thursday, November 30th at 7 p.m. And that concludes our afternoon meetings. Thank you, Donnie, for the correction. That's good. Um, I did want to point out, I got an immediate notice um, from the Hanson Board of Selectmen. On January 7, 2018, my son Noah Strothers will be awarded the rank of Eagle Scout by the Boy Scouts of America. If you could possibly take the time, we would appreciate an acknowledgement of this very important achievement in his life. And um, I just wanted to make that known. But that was nice to be asked. It's always quite an honor um, mm -hmm. to be asked, and it's quite an achievement for somebody to get it. It's yeah. not easy. Um, are you going to forward that to everybody so we get yeah, the details? Yeah, I'll, I'll have. Yeah. Actually, Mary Mary said she needs more information from him on this. Okay. And then she'll let us know. But I thought that was pretty cool. Yep. Hanson has a, a good share of um, of the Eagle Scouts reason recently. We really do. I'll tell you that Troop 34, not to single out any troop, I, I don't want to be dismissive of any other troop, but that Troop 34, Dave Winters for years, yep. has had an astounding number of Eagle Scouts President. for such a small troop make yeah. it through. It's really quite amazing. He has. He's done a great job. Um, <clears throat> and again, that was a good point on the Hanson Community Christmas application. If you're seeking assistance for the holiday season, this is an application for those folks who may need it. So uh, thank you for that clarification. 
All right, moving on. We have appointments and resignations. So we have on the 200th anniversary committee two requests to attend, uh, excuse me, to apply for that committee. One is from Ms. Ann Merlin at 21 Arrowhead Drive. You guys should see it under item one, the application on your agenda, on your uh, iPad, forgive me. Um, and we also have um, a Ms. Carol Conley at 603 Main Street, Hanson, Mass. She worked on the committee in 1995, the 175th anniversary. She was a business owner, retired from CNS Camera at the, is that where, next to Shaw's? That was the one, it was, I mean, it was an awesome right. little institution yeah, for years. And um, it's great that we've got people coming forward. I'm thrilled we've got somebody from the 175th Fifth. because we're trying to kind of reconstruct More. a lot of what they yeah. did and it's good to have somebody with the inside knowledge, so. Um, that's terrific, I think so too. And I remember seeing us came up. I also remember the toy store that was there. Yes, I missed that one. And the, reason. and the card store yep. too. Okay, so we are, um, I would entertain a motion to accept the appointment, Ms. Ann Merlin, at 21 so moved. at Rock Drive. Second. Motion has been made and seconded. Let me write this down, Mr. Howard. I gave you plenty of time. Yep. Right. I know. You did Motion. hesitate. There was a pregnant pause there, Jim. Thank you. <laughs> and Jim Hickey seconded. All right, cool. And um, all those in favor say aye. 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 Those are all. Thank you, ma'am. Oh, thank you. I didn't, thank I'm you. sorry. I, I usually ask. Thank you very much. Do you want to stand up and say hi? Hi, Merlin. I think that's nice, Ann. Thank yeah. you for yeah. applying for this. You know? Thank you. Yeah. Oh, thank yeah. It, it really is. And, um, you know, Marcus uh, Lynn is really passionate about this, and we've got some fantastic ideas, and it's going to be exciting. You're going to enjoy it. Yeah. Yeah, thank you for applying. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, next is Carol Conley. Is she here? No. She's not here tonight? No. Okay, I apologize. Um, so um, I think that's fine, even though she's not here. She seems to have earned her stripes. So, yes. Um, all those in favor of, a, of appointing Miss um, Carol Conley to the anniversary committee say aye. Do we motion and say aye. aye? Oh, did we already motion it? No. Well, we, no. I, I thought we were motioning for both of both, them. Both, yeah, but no. That's what I why thought. Don't we do, why don't we do the motion first? Okay. Motion by so Mr. Howard. Second. Second by Mr. Hickey. Gotcha. And second by Jim. All those in favor say aye. 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 Thank you guys. Keep me honest and up to speed. All right. We also have with us uh, Mr. Matt Tennis. Matthew, right? And Matthew is applying for the as an interim conservation agent. He'll be Matthew is our health agent currently for working with the Board of Health, right, Matt? So with, um, with Laurie Muncy stepping, um, stepping out of this role, and we thank her for all her service and hard work. She's done a fantastic job. There'll be hard shoes to fill there, Matt. I know that's been said before, but um, you seem quite capable. And uh, could you just give us a quick brief in terms of how long it will be interim for that you discussed with Mike? Sure, in discussion with Mike, uh, my board, Board of Health, and um, the Chairman of the Conservation Commission looking to do it as an interim through the end of the fiscal year, so June 30th. Uh, we'll all be reevaluated. So it's new, uh, you know, new, new concept combining the two positions. So we'll re reevaluate it in the spring and go from there. So. I think there's a lot of synergy between those two departments. Uh, there's a lot of commonality, and I think the enforcement of the regulations. And as much as we're going to be reviewing you, I hope you're going to be honest about this is not working or this is working, you know, that type of thing, uh, just because because it is experimental. Uh, we haven't done it before. We've combined positions, but not those two. So um, I applaud Mike once again for thinking outside of the box Absolutely. to try to fill the requisition. And Matt, you've so far done a great job, at least in my limited experience with you on Board of Health. You're very proactive. You're getting on top of things and responsive. So hopefully you'll bring that same attitude towards uh, conservation. And you know, we look forward to working with you. I think it's important too that the Board of Health was, was able to approve and allow it to occur as well as Conservation Commission has encouraged yeah. this assignment too, right, under Phil Clemens. So I think that's... Um, I'll be increasing my hours from 35 to 40, so it'll be a full day on Thursday instead of a half, which uh, to accommodate the extra workload. But it, it services both departments, down in your 
the whole day Thursday instead of the half. And you're in every Friday. Correct. Now, I would anticipate that it's not always going to be exactly this number of hours for the health, Board of Health and not just it. So there'll be right. some ebb and flow type of thing. And right. I assume you're just going to communicate with both of the you know, appropriate parties and let them know what's going on so they can kind of coordinate. Yes. Okay. Are there any other questions she, from Jim? Did you get a raise? <laughs> yeah, just from the increase in hours. Okay. Well, I mean, I wouldn't want them to... Have, have this put on you, Matt, and not be compensated. Right. Yeah. He's just getting yeah. additional. Not afraid to ask the questions. No, no, no. I know. I, yeah, Mike, Mike and I talked about it, and I, I said it was fair just to pay the difference in hours. Well, okay. I mean, again, and we'll, you know, this right. is a, a new he thing in June. Right. Certainly, you can say flex your muscles if you've gotten some conservation teeth in between time, and, right. you know, I've got new skills. I bring something new to the table. and you know, have a discussion with us about it. Uh, but it's your intention, I know, um, you know, that there are Mass Association of Conservation Commissioner classes and the like that you can take, and uh, they're pretty accessible. Um, yes. uh, and you're planning on kind of boning up on all that stuff? Absolutely. Yeah. I believe actually, looking at a lot of the classes are held on Saturdays, which is good because it doesn't take time out of the regular work week. Yeah. So, yeah, they are very accessible. and. What type, of, what type of classes did you say? Uh, Mass Association of Conservation Commissioners. Yeah. Uh, they have a different certificate programs, and you go, um, I know my husband went for like eight years to all kinds of things to get so credentials. Yeah, yeah. Modules. And you know, the thing I think you'll find about that group is they're super supportive, um, the conservation commissioners and agents. Um, so I think you'll find a very welcoming group wanting to help teach you, you know, and like I said, I think your background is going to lend itself to you learning this a lot quicker than somebody off the street would. What well, the Protection Act, too. Yeah. You have know, yeah. to know that inside out. Yes. What the Protection Act, right? We're one cranberry bog here, Matt. you got to gotta know the wetlands <laughs> act. It's important. Okay, I would, uh, is there any other questions or any other comments? I would entertain a motion to um, accept Matt Tannis as the interim conservation agent. So moved. Second. What? Moved second. We have any crazy All right. I'll get to the next All right. Mr. Dramatic pause motions. again. And Mr. Howard has seconded. All right. All those in favor say aye. 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 Four zero. Welcome. Welcome. And thank, thank you. Thank you, Matt. Um, okay. So we have taken care of our appointment res uh, resignations. Um, we do have, actually, I don't know why. We had the interim conservation agent. We're moving to 7.30 in a few. We're still early on the, about 10 minutes, right? I think we could probably do the requests. Why don't we do the requests? But I don't understand why resignation was down there. It should have been up up top, right? But whatever. Yeah, you can do that, and then we could move to the request. Yeah, I'm going yeah. to do the resignation. I would, um, we have received a uh, resignation notice uh, from Ms. Brenna Audet, resigning from the Conservation Commission. Um, she writes, and I regret to inform you that I'll no longer be able to continue as a board member for the Conservation Commission. My job and personal requirements do not allow me to give my full attention to the position, and I feel that's a detriment to the commission. I appreciate the opportunity to learn and grow, and I've enjoyed serving the town in this capacity. So I would entertain a motion to accept with regret. So moved. Second. We've been seconded, okay. We thank her because she did put in... Um quite a bit of time boning up and getting up to speed and uh, and serving so we thank her so it's with regret that we accept her okay. resignation second on the resignation okay all those in favor say aye aye, aye. four zero okay next we have the requests for Camp Kiwani, uh, actually, well, let's move to King's Ransom. King's Ransom is a business held up at uh, Mayette's, and it's, um, they wish to move there uh, up on Liberty Street currently, and they're requesting a change of address from 156 Liberty Street to 1011 Main Street. Now, are they a junk dealer? I, and I don't mean that in a detrimental way. Not that I'm aware of. I thought they were more of like a... Um, Oh, I'm sorry. You would, you stand, would you stand? Would you stand and come on? Yep. Come on up. Tell, tell us your name, please. <clears throat> it's okay. Matt, I'm sorry. Michael. Michael. Michael? 
Michael Schwab. <clears throat> Um, could you just tell us what kind of business it is, Mike? Uh, looking at the sale. Basically, market selling antiques. Antique, okay. Antiques dealer. I'm sorry, your voice isn't feeling well. I heard something's going on. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff going yep. on. Um, that's good. Yeah, I know where that business is, right next to my aunt. So I've seen you guys there before. I haven't had time to go in. I'm sorry, but whatever. Um, I don't see a problem with this. Does anybody else? I mean, no offense, Matt. I mean, uh, Mike. You're up to date on your taxes and all that stuff, right? That usually is that's usually checked on other stuff. Yes, sure we right usually now. do ask that. We're not yeah. singling you out. That's yeah, one yeah, of our yeah. fundamental yeah. questions. Yeah. Mike, what are your hours now? Uh, Wednesday through Saturday, twelve to six. So, you know, I was approved to do ten to six Monday through Saturday, so I was going to make that many hours in the shop. Okay, so you're going to be open every day of the week then? Uh, except for Sunday. Okay. 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 So, 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 yeah. so you're Monday through Saturday, 10 to 6, right? You were Wednesday through Saturday, 12 to 6? Yeah. Okay. It said here the same hours, I thought, didn't it? Yeah. That's why I'm asking. Yeah. yeah. So the hours have changed. They're not the same. Is that correct? He's saying when he initially... Um, oh, when he first started. His initial approval was for those hours. He just scaled back his hours voluntarily, okay. and now he's going to go back to the hours he was originally approved okay. to. If I'm misstating, jump in. So okay. you're good to go. So you, so you already got the approval for that, for the 10 to 6. Gotcha. Okay. Um, That's great. And I'm trying to, is, is that the old building where Just For You Personal Training was? Or like there's a... That's the one that was the mission tackle place. Oh, okay. All right. That's still going to be great visibility for you, though, right? Yes. Along that strip, yeah, yeah. Yeah. More traffic too. To the cross the street from the the one thousand. Yeah, it's yes. that fish and tackle. Okay, I yeah. Gotcha. yeah. That's terrific. We wish you good luck, Mike, on that. I think so. You know, I don't see any problem with this. Is, no. 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 When do you think you'll be up and running down there then? December first. Oh, cool. Okay. Excellent. Okay, I make a motion to accept the um, change of address for King's Ransom from 156 Liberty Street to 1011 Main Street. Second. Motion has been made and seconded. Further discussion or questions? All those in favor say aye. 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 Good luck, Mike. Good luck, Mike. Yeah, good time. Hope you feel better. Thank you. Um, next, how much time we got? Five minutes, we're good to go. We're cooking with gas, yeah. Okay, um, yeah, cooking with gas. Uh, Camp Kiwani, we have fee waivers for five events, okay? You should have backup on each one of them, starting at item five on your um, iPad. So I'm going to read them, and I'm going to read the description of the event. The first one is the Hanson Community Christmas. The dates on our agenda are incorrect. The dates are going to be held December 13th and 14th. Those are confirmed. Okay. okay. Uh, they're requesting the lodge to be donated uh, by the town of Hanson for the Hanson Community Christmas. <coughs> the lodge will be zero dollars fee for the lodge and zero for the caretaker staff. The recreation members and staff will coordinate to be on site to volunteer at this community event. The hours are 5 to 9, 5 p.m. to 9 p.m with 3 p.m. set up time. So the, we favor, uh, the, the waiver reduction is from $1,000 to zero. I mean, this is where they're putting together the Christmas presents for folks that need it. I, I really, In the town. Yeah, yeah. Cool. I do commend yeah. the staff for volunteering their, um, their hours. Yep. I, yep. I think that's awesome. Um, I, I move to approve this um, fee waiver for Hanson Community Christmas. Motion's been made to approve. By Second. Kemet. Seconded by... Jim Hickey. All those in favor say aye. 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 Four zero zero. Next event is from the Hanson Fire Department. And they are requesting the lodge for the Hanson Fire Department breakfast with Santa. That will be held on December 9th from 7 a.m. to 11 a.m. It is a waiver fee reduction from $400 to $120 fee and a zero security deposit. Um, I would entertain a motion to accept. Um, so moved. I do wonder, um, and, you know, it's just a point of, I'm not going to, it's not going to change whether I approve it or not. I feel a little bad we're asking them for a $120 deposit, you know, security, or like a, 
$120 fee. It's the Hanson Fire Department doing this for the community for the holiday, mm -hmm. yeah. it's, you know, festival. And I ju but I, I'm just making a note. I, I don't want to second guess the Recreation Commission. Maybe they need that money to pay the staff and they only have so much money. I don't know, right. but you know. I'm assuming that uh, Charlie Barnes, who put this, looks like he put the request in. Yeah. And I'm assuming that he, he took it to the Recreation Board for that point, but yeah. it's a good point. It, yeah, and most likely it's a union event where um, the union. Oh, it's union. But I don't know. Oh. All I know is the town of Hanson is charging Santa Claus 120 bucks. Okay, well that's what I'm so getting that's from not it. Look good and and in the quite Boston honestly, book. I do think that um, that it's for the community Christmas. It's one of the events for community Christmas. So mm -hmm. I don't know if it's union. Right. But. Could be. Yeah, it could be. Okay. okay. I, I think that uh, we're. Uh, I, well, let's vote on so, this. Yeah. Item. Yeah. Motion was made. It needs to be seconded. Second. Motion was made and seconded. What, oh, I was just. Yeah, is it possible to add um, that um, you know that we look into this for next yeah. year, or at least talk to the fire department and the recreation commission, see how much it actually does cost to put it on. And yeah, just, so we get a little explanation. Yeah. Is, if they just say it's because we need people to caretake us to staff it, okay, that makes sense. And yeah. We'll try to get the. We'll, we'll try yeah. to get an explanation as to why they're giving us the 120. Right, so absolutely. All right. Motion has been made and seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 Four zero zero. I have one minute left, ladies. Would that be okay? I just yes. want to clean this up. Thank you. We're a little late in the All right. All right. Beth said that. As long as we don't stop before that. <laughs> All right. You got it. Um, okay. So we have the. Uh, Hanson Business Set Work as requested to use on March 17, 2018 from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. A fee reduction from $400 to 160 for the fee rental, security deposit reduction from $1,000 to 250 and that was approved by the Recreation Commission on September 11, 2017. This was, um, name of the representative on this was Josh. Josh right, Singer, right? Josh Singer. Right, it's Josh Singer. He's taken over now that I've... Um, changed up Change some it? gears. I yeah. will note that um, I, I'm still part of it, but he's um, running. Um, it's actually not a fundraiser for Panther Education Fund. It's for the Hanson Food Pantry. Oh, okay. Uh, last year it was for Panther Education. We're going to try to switch it up from year to year and do different um, do different charities. So. Okay. So I would entertain a motion to accept this waiver as read. Uh -huh. I, I'm going to recuse myself because oh, okay. I'm part of the organization. So so. Okay. So Mr. Howard? As motioned, Mr. Hickey, I need you to second I it. I will second it. Mr. Hickey, second it. And we'll put to vote. All those in favor say aye. 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 I'm abstaining. Four, zero, I'm sorry, three, zero, one, abstain. Abstain was our Kemet. Okay, that has to be detailed, so we put that there. And I think the last item we had was, actually, no, it's one more. The Rockland Lions Club is asking for the annual fundraiser where we serve roughly 130 people, a variety of wild game. The uh, date and hours of the event are April 7th, 2018, from 4 p.m. to 8 p.m. We'd like to discuss the kitchen. To, uh, we would like to access the kitchen to cook at 9 a.m. They're requesting waiving the $250 um, additional hourly fee. Did you say a variety of wild game? That's what it says. Oh, all right. I thought annual fundraiser where we serve okay. roughly 130 it people. It just sounded okay. a variety of wild game. So moved. No pun intended okay. for the Lions. Yeah. Okay. So this is the uh, Rockland <laughs> uh, Rockland Lions Club, and Mr. Hickey is motioned, and Mr. And Mr. Howard second. Okay, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Four, zero, zero. And last but not least is item 5D. This is a, another wave reduction fee for the Road to Responsibility Incorporated. This is for the Lodge Staff Training Day. Um, they wish to hold the event on June 1st, 2018 from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. They wish to reduce the fee from $1,000 to $600. Um, requested by Ms. Jessica Kelly. Um, I, I move to uh, waive the, to reduce the fee from 1000 to 600 for the road to responsibility. Okay. Second. Okay, Laura Kemet 
Motion, Mr. Howard, second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Four, zero, zero. And that takes care of all our requests. So we're moving directly to the classification hearing with the Board of Assessors. And I want to thank you ladies for coming tonight. Thank you very much. Which one's that? You, um, you should have the, it's your handout. You know the handout I gave you? you handout. That would be better to, uh, to use. Okay. Did you need one, John? I think he's got no, it's this little puppy right here. Donnie, did I give you one? I got it someplace here. Yeah, yeah I gave him one. Okay. And uh, Lee, why don't you take it away? Do you want to open For the, what? At the hearing. Oh, do I have to open up this hearing? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, cool. I officially open up this hearing. <laughs> <laughs> Make a motion. What, what are the ver what's the verbiage? All right, okay, we got to vote to open it then. Um, all right, did we did we need to vote? I'll, I'll for motion it. Okay, motion to open up a hearing for the classification uh, classification hearing for the town of Hanson fiscal year 2018. Second. Okay. okay. I didn't I didn't think that had to be done, but that's I think my bad. Yep. So, Mr. Howard, all those in favor say aye. 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 We've done a vote for zero. Now you can go ahead. Okay, for those of you who don't know me, which I think Did everyone second? does, because Did I think we've done this before, other than okay. I know, Laura, this is your first classification here, and, and Jim, I know it's yours also. Um, but the reason for the classification here, it is to adopt tax policies um, by allocating the classification, um, how the tax levy is going to be spread throughout um, the town of Hanson. There are three votes that will be taken tonight. Um, they are in your packages. Um, we're going to vote on whether to adopt a single tax rate or a split rate. We're also going to vote on the small commercial exemption and also the residential um, exemption. Um, in your packets on page two, um, that states the requirements on the votes that we're going to take tonight. And um, Lee, historically, we've always had a uniform yes. rate. Okay. Yeah. I just yeah. want to level we'll set that. Yeah. The yeah. Yeah. yeah, we yes. don't want to so shoot that. The and usually, um, cities or towns that do um, vote to split the rate, it's usually an E20 ratio, usually, and we're, we're 9 to 8. So we're, we, just, we don't want to chase those businesses yes. away by any means. Um, page three of your packet there, it just shows as here the different scenarios if you were to um, use a shift and split the tax rate. Um, as you'll see, um, the burden will get picked up on the commercial end um, for those properties. Um, page four is just the high just showing the amount of resident residential, commercial, industrial, and the personal property. And as you see, Hanson is 92% residential. Was it 92 last year also, Lee? Do you know? Was it 92, um, 93? It was just under that because um, because actually we were a little bit, uh, I think it was less than, it was less than a percent commercial. I, uh, some of our commercial did drop a little bit. Yeah. Um, this fiscal year, and it had to do with personal property, not not so much commercial properties going out, but just personal property. Okay. Because and included. what percent is open space? I know it's saying zero, but um, because they don't use that anymore, they don't use open space. They used to use it, um, but they don't use that category, and that's why you're seeing zero percent. Okay. They don't use that anymore when they're doing the. Um, but do you have? And you don't need to have it because it's classification hearing, but do you have a sense of what percent we've got that's considered open space? Um, well, this, it depends it, because some of it is conservation, yeah. open space, some of it is... Like forage kind of stuff? Yeah, yeah. that's okay. state-owned land, yeah. so that's yeah. another category, and then it, the other one is chapter land yeah. for open space, so it depends on what category. I mean, if we put those all together, we can come up with a percentage. Okay, all right, great, thank you. Okay, page five, um, it just, sh again, it shows the shift, but now now we're into talking about what the average one family 
um, is assessed for enhanced, and that's 317. Um, then the average residential dwelling, that would include um, that would include two families, three families, four families. It includes condos when we're in the average residential dwelling. That's a great point. And condos are charged the same as residents, personal homes. Yes. That's an important mm -hmm. distinction yes. we need to make sure. Yes, they're not like apartments or anything there as individuals. Okay. And then our average um, commercial industrial, which has gone up to, uh, so using the tax rate of 1583, which we're 99.9% um, um, sure that that's what we're looking at, we're going to submit tomorrow, but everything else has been certified, so okay. everything but the tax rate. Um, so it just shows you the scenario with the average tax bill in Hanson, $5,018.11. Quite a difference from years ago. Sure is. <laughs> so are you saying that our, I'm, I'm, our uniform tax rate is going down? Yes. Okay. Yes. Values have gone up this year. So prices have definitely increased and it's pushed the values up. So a lot, a lot of times, as long as there's not a huge amount of spending, the values go up the tax rate down. Okay. Well, I think that would be welcome news to see that. Yes, I think so. We like to hear that when they call. Yeah. <laughs> um, page seven, um, it, uh, it shows you a three-year comparison of, of what values are doing. You can expect fiscal 16, 17, and 18. Mm -hmm. On this one, we've, we've um, actually, um, instead of putting the average residential, we, we put the condos in there just to see the difference in what we've had quite a condo boom, and those condos are going, those condos values are um, um, rising at. Well, I mean, it, it's really quite astounding, and I know um, that this is a bit of an anomaly because when we had. Um, when we were working on the community preservation project, we had a woman come in and she did demographics, average household, yada, yada. And Hanson is in a strange place where, um, and I think you're showing this here, where in the not too distant future, it's possible that the average condo value is actually going to outpace the average home value. Yeah. Um, so that's, it, it's interesting because we've got a lot of high end condos being yes. built. So, yeah. yeah. And again, it's, it's very desirable yeah. right now. Yeah, it is. Yeah. And it's important to state that the that the tax rate is going to be the same. I think that's important. That's pretty good to know. Yeah. So if you want to vote if you're in favor, I um, my board of assessors, this is Patricia Lane, Kathy Marini, and my staff, um, Denise Alexander and Ann Merlin. And um, the board has always recommended a uniform tax rate for the town of Hansen. So That's on page, so on page eight. Yeah. Right. On page eight. Um, page eight will get into the residential exemption and the small commercial exemption. But um, the first vote that we're going to take tonight is whether or not to use a split rate or a uniform rate for and the, and the reason why that the residential rate was always kept the same is to increase and try to promote more business within the town, right? So that's about We don't want to drive people out. No. We want to attract yeah. Or at least keep them. Yeah. Donnie, did you have some question? No. I'm just going to give you a motion for number one. No, absolutely. Give me a motion, brother. Motion for number one. Mr. Howard, why don't you read the motion just because okay. if you don't, Beth is going to yell at me. Selecting the residential fit. Factor for fiscal year 2018. The Board of Assessors has constantly recommended the facts number one, meaning that the tax rate should not be split in order to shift more tax burden to the commercial class. So I think Don's motion is to adopt a residential factor for fiscal year 2018 with the factor one. Yes. Thank you. Is that correct? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay, Mr. Howard is motioned for that. Second. Mr. Yes. Mr. Hickey is seconded. Okay. Are there any questions? All those in favor say aye. 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 Four zero zero. The second matter that will come up tonight will be the residential tax exemption. 
exemption. The residential tax exemption is for property owners of class one residential properties, single family dwellings, multi family dwellings, condos, um, who own and occupy their property. They would get a percent applied to their property in a dollar amount value and that would be exempt from taxation. Again, this would shift the tax burden to the other classes of property. Um, the historically Hansen has not adopted that. The Board of Assessors does not recommend that. Why would a town adopt that? Why would they? Yeah, I'm trying to wrap my mind. If they had a high rate of rental? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, rental. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. That would not be us then. Yep. Yes. So I would entertain a motion not to adopt. Would that be yes. okay for you? Um, I make a motion that Hanson for residential exemption. Um, not adopt a residential exemption. Second. Or Kemet. Second by Mr. Howard. We don't need to vote. Oh, we do. Yeah, we do. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, aye. Again, this is to not to adopt the yeah, residential right. exception, okay? And... Did you want to discuss the okay, small the commercial? The third item tonight, the small commercial exemption on page 8 of your um, packets. Um, legislation in 1994 added an uh, opinion of the property classification law. It is the responsibility of the board of selectmen to decide if the small commercial exemption will be adopted in the town of Hanson. Adoption of this provision does not guarantee a reduction in taxes that would be passed on to the small business owner. As, in, uh, as the exemption is applied to the real estate, not the business, but the real estate. For example, if Shaw's Plaza was assessed for 999000 mm -hmm. and each business in that plaza had an average of less than 10 employees during 2016, mm -hmm. the, owner, the owner of that property would qualify and receive the exemption, not the individual business owner. So it would be you know, it's up to them whether or not they would pass that along to the business owner. So you're not really incentivizing small businesses. You're in, you're giving an incentive to real estate holdings, mm -hmm. essentially large real estate holdings. Mm -hmm. um, in, in a town like yeah, Hansen, here. yes. Yeah. In, in other towns, yeah. it, it you know it might be feasible. Like you know, towns like Avon, Brentham, yep. where they have a large yeah. small business base like that. And that's when you use the 999 because it's under a million dollars. Yes, any, anything over a million is automatically exempt. Um, we also, it's also, if it's a residential in home business, those are exempt also. Um, so it, actually, 12 business, 12 of the businesses occupy the properties. Um, but do not own the properties, so they would only benefit if the property owner passed that savings along to the business, to the business owner. Um, so in Hanson, to fit all the criteria um, for the small uh, commercial exemption, it would only be 12 businesses that would actually benefit from this. And we have 34 home occupations, right? Mm -hmm. So again, historically, Hanson has not allowed to. Okay. Um, Jim, did you want to make that one? Jim, yeah. um, Jim, would you entertain a motion not to yeah. adopt the small business exemption? So moved. I'll second. Any questions or further comments? So, Mr. Hickey? No. Mr. Motion and Mr. Howard, second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Four, zero, zero. And lastly, um, I, um, on the LA-5 for the classification hearing, to go along with this hearing, I have to present to you the excess levy capacity. Um, it was at $44,508.93. Um, nothing that you have to vote on, I just have to make sure that you're aware of that um, of the excess, excess capacity. Okay. Any questions to that? Was that about to get the floor? $44,508.93? Yes. Yep. Thank you. The Department of Revenue is now requesting that the Board of Selectmen sign this, so um, 
I don't know if you want to sign it tonight. I know last time you had to come back in and sign it, so if it's easier for you to sign it tonight while everybody's here. Do you want us to sign it and then have you, and it goes back to you anyways, correct? Does it need everybody because Kenny's not here? Um, no, I think it just needs the majority. Mm -hmm. okay. Majority. Mike, um, McHugh also submits his signature. Okay. Is there a special place for us to sign? It's down or? in the bottom where the open space is. Right here? Yeah. Okay, you got it. This is very well put together, Lee. It made it a lot easier to understand to those of us who were uninitiated in this process and up until now. Denise so. is very proficient. Denise Alexander in my office doing spreadsheets and pie charts. Well, we appreciate all the work you guys put into this. Could you just give us a little bit more on the tax levy? What is that? You know like what I'm saying? Levy capacity. The, yeah, the levy capacity. Um, just give for those people who may not. You know what I'm saying? That's the difference between what we could use and what we are using. So we could we could use that much more, but at the same time, it's going to raise the tax rate. If we use up that use that money excess, excess money yeah. right okay gotcha thank you Lee. You're very welcome. Thank you so for attending I appreciate you coming and I just today. want my financial team Gene Sullivan Todd Hassett I just um, kudos to them you know the, the whole team just works together very well and we had a great submission you know within within a day we had our forms back in the common revenue and Wow. Very happy yeah. about that. That's pretty good. That's that would be good. an excellent job by me. Me too. <laughs> yeah, we hear nothing. I don't know. I, I hear nothing but good news from you guys, from you and Jean's office. Yeah. Todd and has Tom has Clark, everybody's too. Yeah. 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 Beth and Jean at the town. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic team to work with. Yeah. So, um, so you can make a motion to close? I will make a motion to close the hearing. So I'll move. Second. Motion to close. Moved and seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion is closed. Thank you very zero much. Zero. Yeah, thank you. Thank, thank, you guys. Guys. thank you. Thank you guys very much. I bet you're really appreciating Mary right now. I do. <laughs> I, do. <laughs> I know. And my instructors are make sure they see you taking notes too, okay? <laughs> I said absolutely. Oh, we saw you. No Tell Beth I was only kidding too. I really do appreciate it, okay? All right. We do have um, an item on our agenda before we move to the uh, reports. This is to uh, vote to approve and vote the contract for engineering services, Smitty's Bog. We have tabled the forestry management plan. We also, just a, a heads up to the people out there, we tabled Bob Hayes was going to give us an update on the McQuan transition and he was gonna request for support for transition expenses. The department reports, we were going to get report from Karen Stoffler at uh, the library director and Michelle Mills from the ADA committee. We'll be getting those, um, I anticipate, November 28th when we meet. That's gonna be a marathon meeting. Yeah, we'll, we'll split it up. Yeah. We'll see where it goes. The, um, so the contract uh, that, that, that we're reviewing, um, yes. I walk at Smitty's two or three times a week, so I know they've gotta get rid of Fragmite, they've got some access, oh, this is for Bog. Um, restoration, so I assume it's a lot of the Fragmite and that type of stuff that they, mm -hmm. they need to take care of. Um, I it, wish it's actually item 3A on your agenda, yeah, Dawn. I wish Phil was, Dawn Ian, um, if you guys see it. 3A on your agenda. You have to pull that 3A. Yeah, it's it's on, 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 right, no worries. I've been locked out. It's okay, rather. I mean, did he, did, I assume they went through the bid? Pro um, yeah, the, the only thing, okay, so I did speak to, um, I didn't get the chance to speak to Mike on this. I did speak to Phil Clemens on this and he agreed to meet with us at 815 if we had any additional questions or problems uh, with maybe uh, voting on this he felt um, he did ask me to pass on to him that this is in support of a grant it's actually a contract equivalent of a grant that we received from the state the United States oh, DA yes. okay. this yep. was for $250,000 that yep. we received to, uh, to clean up Smitty's Bach and uh, restore it forgive me um, it has been six years since we've uh, six years that we've owned Smitty's Bog, yep. and essentially we've done nothing, um, done nothing to improve it, and we've have no real expertise or time from anybody in our offices to deal with this. So, uh, again, this is a contract equivalent that we're getting of two hundred fifty thousand dollars. This is a team 
that we're asking to, um, it's called Interfluve, mm -hmm. and they are going to basically, uh, we're looking to hire them, and they're going to do two scopes of work. The permit assistance, and I'm told that the permit assistance is very, uh, very labor intensive. Yes, yeah. It's uh, well, done it's for the DEP. The DEP, DEP yeah. yeah. And the Army Corps of Engineers requires sign off, so they basically hand walk the towns through this process. Um, there, this uh, the restoration will probably will uh, will make a hundred acres of this property more valuable uh, to the people of Hanson. It'll improve the ponds and streams, enhance recreation. Uh, uh, for folks for this pro to use this property um, the conservation has these funds in hands that is the funds for the fourteen thousand nine hundred and thirty dollars for the permit assistance and then the the second task is the bid phase services and construction administration which costs six thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars uh -huh. okay I know I don't know about you it, it seemed like a lot of money at the at the first take for this but um, from what I'm told this is a reasonable price and this is typically what's being offered for this type of scope of work I don't think it's a lot because they're doing the application they, it looks like they're also going to help us through the bid process to yeah. find the people that are actually going to do the do work yeah. and I mean given the fact that we've just lost Lori and we've got Madison interim who's new and just starting to get you know his sea legs yeah. um, and I think even with Lori here this would be a fairly comprehensive project I, I don't really think what, what are we talking about a little over twenty one thousand dollars yes I, it's not really that much if you think and, of it. And if conservation's got the funds themselves to pay for it, I presume from all the, the permit fees that they've collected. They do have the fees in I hand, mean, the money in hand, I was told, yeah. yes. Now, also to note, this is important to note, that Todd Hassett, our, uh, our accountant, has approved, has reviewed and approved the spending for this. So that's in line with what we can spend for. So uh, we want the public to enjoy this uh, Smitty's Bog area. Um, we need to work to improve this area for public use. Phil also indicated that there were two projects in comparison to this um, that were occurred in Plymouth, and these were examples of other restorations. One was called the Eel River, and the other one was called the Tidmarsh one. So, um, so we're being asked to vote and support this contract. Um, well, I'll motion it. Yep, so okay. I can second it. I, I mean. Uh, if you haven't been to Smitty's Bog, it's right next to Camp Kiwani. A lot of people just in the few years that we've had it, it now. for the fishing, a lot of people are using it. I see more and more people enjoying it. It's a beautiful little piece of property. It connects to Pembroke. You can go through the woods and onto the bogs over in Pembroke. You're right, the Mattakasa uh, Street. Yep, it's quite a resource. Um, and, um, you know, we're lucky to have it. And, and they can't put solar panels on it. No. I tried. <laughs> well, no, no. we're going to put them there. <laughs> In the bar. <laughs> yeah, he's joking. Well, he's joking. Using them. We, I don't think he's joking. We actually. want to keep the letters. <laughs> <laughs> we want to keep the letters away from the office, brother. All right. So no, he's joking. So we, so we have a motion to um, Jim. Did you have any questions? Well, Only second. that um, we put this twenty-two. It's closer to twenty-two thousand. But we put this twenty-two thousand into it, uh, and we own it, and it's for the people of Hanson to use. That's correct. We don't. It, the, it's technically, I believe, um, but it would be good if Phil was here. Bye. But my understanding is, I think that the state owns it, but it's in our care and custody and our use for our use kind of thing. Okay. Yeah. Um, but but essentially, yeah, it's 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 our responsibility to keep this piece of property yeah. up. And as Jim mentioned earlier, as far as I know, we have not done anything, and there was an agreement. Right. Um, a, like a memorandum of understanding that we entered into when the state took this and gave it to us that we would take certain steps and where I believe behind a little bit behind on doing our part um, to take care of this. And we're going to put solar panels out there? Well, no. That's Don's. No. Don's. No solar panels out there. No, 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 you can't do anything up there. <laughs> Squelch the rumors now. No <laughs> solar panels out there, right, Trace? Get that on the news. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> long time ago yeah I'm for it that's cool so um, I think it looked like a pretty much standard contract I thought that was it, it, it's similar to what we did for like even the roof repairs yep. for uh, Indian head where we hired a company uh, Gale engineering services to come in and give us a scope of work on what they do 
Um, and again, this is a bit more intense through the process. Yeah, so it kind of reminds me of a feasibility kind of, of a feel yeah. to it. Yeah. But if you're representing that Phil Clements has said that he's good with this company and that Todd has gone over this and yes. Mike has gone over this and it, and it passes the sniff test for all of them, um, then, you know, we've made a motion and seconded it, so. Okay. Any other comments or questions? All right, let's put it to vote. All those in favor say aye. 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 Four zero. Zero. Thank you, guys. Uh, next, we have um, the committee reports. Mon Ponce and Pond Committee, Mr. Howard. Uh, you want me to come I back to really you? I really don't have anything for it. Okay, nothing new? Nothing, nothing really new. The cyanobacteria count is way low. And uh, so that Brockton can take the water as long as it gets 52 feet above the limit that they're supposed to be using it. How often do they meet? Do they still meet in Halifax? No, we met, well, the Plymouth County Central Water, we, we, we met Monday. Monday? But it, that's a different one. Okay. Thank you, Donnie. And the final Plymouth County Hospital Reuse Committee, I know we haven't had much on that. The, only thing, the only thing I know about it is it's supposed to be worked on this week they're moving the material from the piles that they had into the lowland that uh, mr clemens gave it permission to use it for and uh, that's the that's maybe it'll be, be done by the, the end of the week so yeah. it's, it's the final yeah. it's, it's yeah. the final yeah phase of the of the hospital area mike did send us an update on that and so that they were taking some of that down yeah so that's good and then but the, the antenna ant is still up yeah right? the antenna will be the last thing to come down, come down. okay Quan School Reuse Committee. Um, yeah, um, Mike, I think, has been a little waylaid with personal um, stuff that just came up this week. Uh, we were originally going to try to meet this week, um, and so I'd have to um, kind of put that in the parking lot. I can't really give you an update on that, um, but I would hope that we would be meeting before the end of June of uh, November. Uh, but there's the holiday, and he's got to kind of look into availability. I know we've got. Ernie Sandlin signed up to walk us all through. We've got the concept all worked on and what we're going to do with the first meeting. Okay. Um, but pulling everybody together is like herding cats. So yeah, that's perfect, Larry. Only okay. All right, Mr. Hickey, Hanson School Repair Committee. Yeah, because we are. Um, uh, Bob Hayes is going to talk about that tonight. Um, so we tabled it. Right? Yeah. Okay. So there's nothing new. No. Yep. Thank you, Jim. The Highway Building Committee is Mr. Kenny Mitchell, who's not here with us tonight, and the 200th Anniversary Committee, Laura um, I gave you guys a big update the last time, and we haven't met since then, and, but we've got two new members, which is wildly exciting. And um, I happened to run into the woman who did the um, design for the 175th, and she told me that she has hundreds of prints of that left over, and she's oh. donated them to the town to sell, cool. and that she would be a very uh, proud silent off to the side supporter um and would help us in any way whatsoever so i think we're starting to get some momentum but we're meeting in, on the 30th and you're still looking for volunteers we actually had two uh, i think tonight, we may have right? one more opening. opening yeah all right that's cool yep. and i do have an update that i wanted to read uh where is it uh, don't forget the Recreation Commission needs one more person, Mr. Hickey, right? That you said that. Um, so we are good. To, there is an opening at the Recreation Commission. I should have probably made that announcement. It should have been included, but we didn't update our other stuff. And uh, conservation now. Right, right, yep. And, um, oh, I'm supposed to state that the fireman's breakfast is in place of the Santa riding around in the fire truck. Oh, so there's yeah. our answer. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, it's not an answer to why they're using it, but um, yeah. yep. that's So Santa sad won't be coming around on the fire truck? Because uh, people I'm, have people need to know. I'm, he will I not believe be. he will not be okay. driving around in the, in the, in the truck. So. I actually look forward to that. I do, too. And I used to look forward to seeing the kids. Well, it's, I, I don't know. Maybe they, they have their reasons logistically. Yeah. I don't know why. But uh, that's terrific. I um, thank you for that update from that person. Um, we are at the end of our meeting, unless there's uh, anything that I've forgotten. Or I no? moved to adjourn. No. Beth, are you here?
Just make sure I took good meeting notes. I promise you. <laughs> I move to adjourn. No. Well, not that you forgot Second. anything, Mr. Chairman, okay. but um, we will not be meeting until after um, Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Yes. So, the 28th. Um, I would like to wish every you know, happy Thanksgiving. Town, happy, oh, happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. That's good. Chance. And Is this our funny Tim moment right now? Yeah. <laughs> and also, uh, Mr. Chairman, I'm, sh I'm sure we did it at the last meeting, but just to thank all the veterans. Uh, veterans Day was last Saturday. Yeah. Um, and there was a lot of things going on um, yeah. that veterans could, um, you know, uh, take advantage of, and just wanted to make sure we thanked them. Well, Bob Absolutely. again did a nice job Thursday. Bob did do it Thursday. Yeah. Was there, yeah, yeah. I'm sure Tracy was there. Were you Tracy or no? Ah, uh, okay. Stephen was there. Yeah. I missed it this year. I had no choice but to work, and regrettably, I yeah. did call Bob early and asked and let him know that I couldn't make it. But I did thank him and made sure that, in hope that he thanked the veterans as well, Jim. So that's a good point. And we do want to wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving. Um, the town is doing very well. We have a lot to be thankful for. We do. For. We yep. have a, very, a lot to be thankful for, absolutely. So um, with that, I have a motion from Laura Kemet to adjourn. And a second. And a second from Mr. Howard. All those in favor say aye. 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 Four, zero. Zero. Our meeting is adjourned. Thank you all for coming. Have a good Thanksgiving.